All right, hello everybody. Today is October 29, 8, 2018. Haha. <laughs> yeah, the Kings beat the Miami Heat on the road 123 to 113. What a day. What a day. All right, yeah. This was a very fun game to watch. I really enjoyed it as you can see by my energy. Uh, oh man, I'm I'm very excited. Very excited about this win. Really big road win. Tough road win, honestly. This is a good team. Like, this is a solid team. There were three and two coming to this game. And I did not expect them to win. Oh, sorry. I did not. I totally missed making a video for the Wizards game as well. Did not expect the Kings to win that game either. I was really glad at how they competed, but they really pulled off a big win at home as well. Um, right now, we're, we're on a four game road, road streak. But we're on a four game road trip. That's how you say that. And like honestly, this is like the first big test that we've gotten since we've been what I consider a pretty solid team. Uh, I wouldn't say there was really a play of the game, but there were very many players of the game. Game, the players of the game. There were multiple players of the game. <laughs> um, this was a really big team win. Like these, these guys are playing as a team. Our starting five is great. Um, I know everyone's saying we should start Marvin Bagley, but Pulitza is playing very well with that starting unit. And honestly, I really like having Bagley coming off the bench. Mainly because he, he's very productive in his minutes. And for first year coming in, it's really good for him to see this winning culture coming in. Um, especially to observe that. It's, it's more important for a rookie to more soak it in rather than just be straight thrown in there. Point is, I'm glad that Marvin Bagley's coming off the bench, even though everyone's saying he shouldn't. But the argument is that Bielitz is playing very, very well. Bielitz had nice line, 19, 5, and 5, two steals, one block. Come on, man. He, he had some solid shots. He was just so steady all day, making the right plays at the right time as well. He was, whenever the Heat would make a run, the Kings would just cut it short. And I know Fox emphasized that after uh, like the Grizzlies game, or maybe it was the Jazz game. It was one of the two. Fox was just like, we need to, we need to cut these runs short because they're just lasting way too long and we're getting out of the game and not giving ourselves a chance to win. What I was saying is that Bielitz was having a great game. He had a great game. And he deserves the minutes that he's getting. He deserves the starting spot, the starting spot that he has right now. And it's great. Willie Colley Stein, great, great game. Such a good game. My goodness. The line 26 13, 11 of 17 from the field. Boy. I would say the only downside was really that his free throw shooting, but the whole team as a whole, the whole team as a whole, the team as a whole struggled from the free throw line. I don't know what is going on, but we cannot shoot free throws. I'll get, I'll get to that. <clears throat> Willie Colley Stein, great game. We were getting destroyed by Whiteside. <laughs> like, he had like four blocks in the first half, maybe first quarter. I, who knows? But he was destroying us. We could not. But like, Kali Stein just kept attacking, 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 and it was great to see the confidence, man. He's he just he's great. Honestly, like coming into this season, I I thought he was he was a solid player, great potential, but could not be, be consistent. The name of the game this year is consistency. He's he's having great game after great game, and it's great to see. Darren Fox, amazing game too, 28 and 4. He's gonna be a 20 point scorer this season. Watch. It's amazing. <clears throat> Buddy Heald, 23, 8 and 5, two steals, one block. This man was going on a tear. My goodness, Buddy Heald. He's so confident right now, and I I love watching his game. He's he's a pretty good defender as well. Fox, great defender as well. I can't say much more about the starting lineup. I'm so excited for Bogdan Bogdanovich to come back. Boy, this starting lineup is going to kill it. And moving Shumpert to the bench. Oh my goodness, our bench is going to be good too. I guess, so a key coming into this game was that our bench was really struggling. They were blowing leads for us. But the bench played pretty well. Um, we stayed into the game. Again, Bagley off the bench is great. He didn't have a ma an amazing line, but from what I saw, he was playing very well. He hit a three today. Marvin Bagley hit a three. If he can get that consistently, oh my goodness. But yeah, overall good showing by this Kings team. 123 on a good, 
I'm a solid team. No one can keep this pace. And I know we're like third in the league in pace, but we don't have a top 10 offensive rating. But like the way it is, is that our offense is so much better than last year. Last year, we could not even, we struggled to get to 100 points. We're just putting up points so easy this year. Maybe it's the pace. Maybe it's the new rule changes. I doubt it. It's got to be the pace. But this is not a fluke of a game. But I'm not saying that we're a playoff team by any stretch. But this is the right stretch. This is the right culture that Vladi was going for two years ago when he was like, we're going to focus on culture. It is fun to watch the Kings. I'm just going to, yeah. It's very fun to watch the Kings. If there's negatives I do want to talk about, free throw shooting, we struggled at. 15 of 25 as a team. We do struggle three-point shooting. Like 12, 26, 46%. It's not as bad as, like in, in the prime moments of the game, we could not hit a three. There were so many big threes that we could have made that would have shut this game out even earlier than it already was. Um, yeah, if there if there is a bigger thing, it's that free throw shooting we're struggling at. We could have put away this game a lot earlier than what it was. That's really my main point. Like, so many positives. We're, we're running the break. We're playing as a team. So many great passes. We're moving the ball on offense. And... It's fun to watch the Kings. And we're closing out games. We're not blowing leads anymore. All right, that's the story of 2018 Kings. 2018, 2019 Kings. We are not blowing leads. Hopefully this stays consistently. We got the Orlando Magic next tomorrow. And I would say that as a winnable game, every game is winnable now with the way that we're playing. Um, although Fox did get injured at the end of the game he, he was holding the right side but he was playing he played out the game um who knows if we, he'll be playing tomorrow um but we'll see how we play tomorrow i'm not expecting a win that's just how it is as a king's get a king's fan i'm not expecting a win but i sure as hell hope they compete and that it's fun to watch all right i'll see you in the next one peace